I converted a 4x4 which allowed me to go everywhere, even in the most remote areas. I slept in my 4x4 for eight months. I also worked because I still had to make sure I had my finances worked out if I wanted to keep exploring the country. I thought I could speak English, but when you end up, it was also the first time I really went to an English-speaking country, so I ended up with accents, terms and expressions which I didn't know at all. So to familiarize myself with all these terms, I told myself, because I like to draw, I'm going to draw fish, flies, and all my rigs and gear and everything. And then I'm going to caption it in English, and it'll allow me to keep my drawing hobby and also learn the terminology that I need to buy my gear or just to talk to locals on the riverbanks. When they talk to you and say some technical words, you have no idea what they're talking about, and it's true that it's definitely not the terms we employ here. You're climbing in and all right? Come on, baby girl. Go. Come on. Climb. There you go. When we went to Lake St. Croix, we ventured out with Michael Marty, who is a fishing guide for all the Mediterranean and freshwater areas. He's an excellent fly fisherman, by the way. So that particular day, we went looking for predatory fish with his loyal friend Maya, the dog. He's had for years. Lake St. Croix is a peace haven. It's a lake of magnificent color with turquoise waters. It's full of limestone, so that gives it a very particular atmosphere. I was able to have very nice fishing sessions there, but there are a lot of small fish. Above the minimum length, the biggest fish I caught at St. Croix was 80 centimeters, if I remember correctly. So they're not exceptional fish. They're nice fish. You'll see the holographic. It's gorgeous. All right. That's an awesome buster. And this, this, this can be good here on the plateau. I can put the big minnow then. This one really speaks to me. How much does it weigh? 50 grams? Uh, this one, 77. 77? Yeah. Did a clap just fly, or was it a tench? Yeah, it looks like a shoal, yes. Is it on now? They put a steel weedless spoon on it. Is it on now? Yeah, they put it on a jig head. Okay. There's a fish there, you see? There's fish underneath. I can see the echoes. I mean, at the bottom. So, when you hear an echo like this, how far is it from the boat? There's 10 meters there, so we'll say roughly 2 meters. Okay. 2 meters underneath. In New Zealand, nature is really... A lot of places are still really wild, and what fascinated me is the hostility of this wilderness. Because the elements are really, really strong. Whether it's the rain, the wind... You feel like some of the landscapes are completely virgin, like no one's ever been there. It's spectacular. Everything is immense. 
For nature lovers, it's a must-see. They have such strength. Wow. I need to get her away from the current. She's staying in her comfort zone here. That's crazy. Okay. I just gained a little bit of ground. Oh, the bitch. Oh, hell. Wow. Yes. Between two rocks. So I don't know. How can I do? She's here. Here. Oh, Thank you, Tim. Woo! Beautiful. Here on. Yes. Woo. 